Today we're going to take a quick look at Banklink's business tool called Payables Plus. And of course, Invoice Plus we've looked at before, which deals with all of our invoicing. Payables Plus is going to help us keep track of our suppliers and how much money we owe, what bills have come in and so forth. So Payables Plus allows us to maintain our complete supplier database, add notes to invoices, credit notes and payments, match credit notes against invoices so we know at any time what's going on and how much we owe to different people. We can generate a wide range of reports and we can also use our accountant's chart of accounts to help categorise our business costs as we go. So let's take a look at just how easy it is to set up Payables Plus. Now when you first open Banklink's Payables Plus, you're going to be prompted with a screen similar to this one, which is going to ask you for some basic company details. So you just pop in your name, address, telephone number and things like that there. If your accountant would like you to use a particular chart of accounts, you just tick this little button here and that'll allow us to import it later on. You'll also see there's an accountant tab. Now you must enter at the very least the accountant practice name, the accounting practice name, otherwise your software is not going to work, it's not going to be functional. Um, Payables Plus of course is one of the Banklink business tools which is only available to accountants. Um, if you're a Banklink client, your accountant might supply this software to you. To save yourself a little bit of time, you can create a supplier from the accountant's details. If we tick that, we'll see that if add a supplier screen has come up, we'll just check the details that we're happy with them and click save. It's as simple as that to add in your company details. Now before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we probably want to add some bank accounts. Now these are probably the accounts which you're going to use to pay your suppliers and bills from. So you go to the setup tab, click bank accounts. We don't have any in there at the moment, so let's add one. All we're going to do is pop in an account number, pop in our bank account name. Now by default, it's going to show the payment method as being check. It really doesn't matter what these are set up as, it just saves a little bit of time later when you're paying invoices, it'll create the defaults, but they can be changed later on at any screen. So we're going to say that this is, when we're paying by direct debit, this is the account that we're associating with that. Again, it doesn't matter so much, you can change that later on. And let's say we're going to add a credit card as well. And this might actually be in the name of the director and hit OK. And then we have some bank account details. We're ready to add some suppliers. Over on the suppliers tab, we can see that if we tick the little checkbox to say, hey, add my accountant as a supplier, there's already some details in there. Adding a new supplier is very simple. We're just going to click here. Now, all of the information here is optional, but for the code and the name. So let's say that ABC company gets a lot of their supplies from the XYZ widget company. Now we can add in an address if we like here. We might know Mary over at the widget company, a phone number. Now, although it's optional, if you want to be able to email your suppliers directly from the program, you will need to add in an email address. Once you're happy with your details, simply hit save. Over here, we can show the address details. Also, there are a lot of shortcuts from the supplier screen. So if we were to right click on here, we can see we can actually edit the details of XYZ delete the supplier, attach notes to them, or enter our invoices, payments or credit notes directly from this supplier from the supplier screen. Let's just add one more. As you can see, we only need the code and the name and hit save. Now we've got a couple of suppliers in there. We're ready to get going. Now the final thing you might need to do if your accountant has provided a chart of accounts for you to use, they would have exported that in a CSV format. So all we do is head up to Setup, down to Import Chart. 
locate the chart of accounts that you'd like to import, hit open, it'll present you with the chart, import, it'll let you know how many entries are in there, and we just verify we'd like to import that. And now we're ready to get going, adding invoices and creating payments.